Man. Hey. What are you up to? Hey, Chad. Oh, God. Luis? Luis? More Luis. Teresa's got me working nonstop to try to make sure that her brothers get a fair shake in court, but it's not easy now. Luis is a fugitive from the law. It's going to take every ounce of money and power that Teresa has to make sure they get off the hook. What a mess. It's got to be hard. You know, I'm used to hard work, but this case has taken over everything. I don't even have a moment for my own life. I tried calling Gwen with no luck whatsoever. Looks like she's going full steam ahead with this divorce. Sorry about that. It's got to hurt. Yeah. But, but, at least now I have the chance to finally be with Teresa. How do you do it? What? Move from Teresa to Gwen without even a second thought. It's not like I'm going from Gwen to Teresa without a second thought, Chad. Looks that way to me. Chad, you know how this thing has been driving the three of us crazy for years now. At least this triangular relationship or whatever it is is coming to an end. Yeah, at the expense of your marriage. Ethan, doesn't that bother you at all? Of course it bothers me. What is wrong with you, man? I've tried calling Gwen numerous times to talk to her about this divorce. She won't call me back. What am I supposed to do? Her attorney gives me divorce papers. What choice do I have? And I still love her. Yeah, but you love Teresa more. I mean, the only reason you're with Gwen is because of your wedding vows. But I guess they don't mean much, do they? That's not fair. Gwen called it quits. I didn't call it quits. And I do still love her. Yeah, well, see, that's what I have trouble with. You being in love with two people at the same time. You think I planned this? My heart went its own way, Chad. What can I say? I get different things from two different women. That's the way it happened for me. I'll tell you what, you are right about one thing, Chad. I love Teresa more. And I've been legally bound to Gwen for so long, but yeah, my heart's always been with Teresa. Okay, Chad. Why don't we uh, put our cards on the table here? Who are we talking about, you or me? What? I can tell you're upset about something. Why don't you talk to me about it? No, you're way off base. Really? Yeah. I hate to pry, but looks like I'm going to have to. Is it Whitney or what? No. No, it isn't Whitney, okay? She's loved my life. She's, she's beautiful and sweet. Chad, this wouldn't by any chance have anything to do with what you let slip right here in this office a couple months ago when we had a little talk about adultery. Hey, come on. I'm your friend. I hope you know there is nothing you can't tell me. Yeah. Ethan, I know that. Come on. It's just... It makes me feel so dirty. Okay, but I, I know I should talk to somebody about this. You're right. There is something going on. You know, when uh, I thought Whitney was my half-sister and she refused to see me, I, um... I met someone else. Someone who uh, became very special to me. But it's not love. God, no, it's not. Uh, the problem is, Whitney came back into my life, and I tried to break things off with this person, but I can't. And I'm stuck. And I am so scared that he's going to find out. Because if she finds out, it is going to kill her. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I mean, is there anything I can do for you? Just listen, I guess. <sighs> I've screwed up, Ethan. I've got to get past this before my whole life is wrecked. Then just stop it. I can't. I can't get out of this. What are you talking about? What, what's this woman threatening you or something? Yeah, this woman. Yeah, Ethan. You know, it's, uh... It's more than just that, it's me. I mean, I think I'm actually addicted to sex. I can't stop, man. I tell myself that I'm never going to see this, this woman again, that I'm never going to go over to that sleazy motel anymore. But then I just, I watch myself drive over there time after time after time. I can't resist. I actually understand. 
It's the way it was with me and Teresa. No matter what I did to try to stay away from her, I couldn't. It's like the cliche of the moth being drawn to the flame. You know, that's me. I guess that's how it is when it's your, when it's your true love. You know? Well, if she's your true love, I think you've got the wrong cliche. The moth always gets destroyed by the flame. Yes, it does. But as long as we're drawing parallels here, Chad, did you ever consider that that's maybe what's going on with you? That this other woman is your Teresa, is your true love? Uh, no, wait, no, no, absolutely not. Okay. It is sex. That's it. I just, I, I've got to get past this addiction, man. I love Whitney. Okay, I love making love to her. I can't lose her. I just, um... Uh, I don't know how to get past this. Oh, it's a party. <laughs> hey guys, uh, am I interrupting anything? Okay, sounds good. I'll uh, talk to you soon. All right, bye. So what I miss? Not much. Now, Chad, I'm not too wild about that Vincent guy. Aside from the fact that he works for the tabloid that. Ruined my life. Something strange about him. I don't trust him. You feel that way? No. Man, I don't think about Vincent at all. Look, I gotta get going. Look, right? hey, one piece of advice first. Yeah. Yeah, what is it? I almost lost Teresa for good. And I know how painful it was, so... Just don't make the same mistake. If Whitney is the true love of your life, she Chad... Is. Okay, I wouldn't have married her if she was. Good to hear and get rid of this other woman. Trust me, it's not worth it holding on to her. I understand what you're saying. I only wish it was that easy. And I only wish she was a woman.